Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Nilu. Today we are doing an Ulta sale haul. So um, Ulta gives out these 20% coupons that apply to your entire purchase, including prestige brands, um, once, maybe twice a year, but they do it around the same time as a Sephora VIB sale. There were actually a few things that I genuinely needed from Ulta, so I thought, why not just use that 20% off coupon, get the stuff I need, um, treated myself to one or two little tiny things that I've been ha having my eye on for quite a while. And then, to top it all off, I'm doing a Sephora VIB sale anti-haul, because I did one last year and I thought it would be fun to do another holiday makeup set, holiday gift set, um, Sephora VIB anti-haul, because um, the things I got from Ulta mostly were things I needed, but I find that a lot of the things in my Sephora loves list are just things I don't need. So let's get started. And the first thing I bought from Ulta was something that I actually needed and the whole reason that I went to Ulta, um, and it's these Shiseido facial cotton pads. These are amazing. These cotton pads have changed the way I take off my eye makeup, the way I um, use cotton pads in general. I don't think I can ever go back to regular cotton pads, even if they're the premium kind at the drugstore or at Target. These are just incredible. They don't soak up all of your product. They don't um, shed, they don't break apart. They're just really great. And if you've used them, you can probably attest to that. So they are, I think $12 per little um, package of them, but I get them always during sales. I never pay full price. and. I think I paid around $9 for this set, but the nice thing is I actually cut mine in half, so I cut it in half and use one half for each eye, and so they last me a really, really long time. I don't even remember the last time I bought these, so I finally just finished that old package. So this was my number one. With that said, I am trying to wean off of using cotton pads, and I'm trying to get into reusable cotton pads and washable cotton pads, so keep that in mind. I always say progress, not perfection. Um, try my best to kind of like figure out how I can get there without um, confusing myself. The next thing I actually needed, and another reason that I went to Ulta, was this dry bar, the morning after shower cap. So this um, shower cap is something I've had my eye on for almost a year now. It's so weird that I waited this long to buy a shower cap, but um, it is a terry cloth lined shower cap, so the outside is really thick. It's really good quality. Um, it's a really, really hefty, big shower cap, and I don't like using those thin plastic reusable ones. I like this because the inside is lined with that terry cloth that'll keep your hair dry. Um, it's so big and so comfortable. I, I just, I've wanted this for so long. This is probably, yeah, this and the cotton pads are really the only reason I went to Ulta, but um, definitely excited for this because I've been living shower cap lists for a while, and I don't wash my hair every day, so you can see how it's been like an issue. Now for a few things I didn't actually need but wanted. Um, the first thing I actually am wearing on my lips right now and that is ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in the color Champagne Mommy. This one is one of my favorites and I think as a person who's not into lip gloss and not into glittery lip gloss, this is just, I don't even know why I like this but I love it. Um, I have a mini size and it was actually in this month's November lip edit, so if you haven't seen my lip edit, I will link it right here and I will link it in the description below. But I put Champagne Mommy in my lip edit because it's the only lip gloss that I've been reaching for lately. It's the only lip gloss I actually want to wear. So um, I'm gonna be doing a makeup and lipstick declutter soon. I will definitely keep that in mind when I'm looking at all those glosses because this is really the only one I reach for and the only one I enjoy wearing. So shout out to ColourPop. It ended up being only about $5 with the discount, so. Not bad. The next thing I got from Ulta was this Stila Stars Align Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. It's actually one of their holiday eye sets. And another reason that I bought this, even though I, I try not to buy makeup that I don't need at this point, and um, I've been eyeing these little glitters for so long that I just thought, you know, I love these colors and they seem very versatile. So Ideally, what I want to do is I, I can use this with so many different looks. Um, the Kitten Karma one, because it actually has that layer of color and glitter, and then the one that is Diamond Dust, I think you can layer over any color whatsoever. So I'll probably use a different shadow underneath and layer this just for sparkle. I think it's perfect for the holiday season, and they're just really fun. They're supposed to be really, really great quality. So um, just in terms of like staying on your eyes, being pigmented, they looked gorgeous, and I swatched them all and tried to keep myself accountable. Um, hold myself accountable, so I only got the set of two because I thought these were really versatile colors and I don't need five. So I definitely treated myself to this, but I've been eyeing them for so, so long, so I'm really excited to play with these. 
The last thing I got was something very small and it is the Elf, uh, not Elf, the Essence eyebrow pen. And this one's semi-permanent. It's really interesting because it has a very intriguing looking tip and it is like an ink pen essentially for your eyebrows. So I'm really excited to use this. If you've tried anything like this, please let me know. But it was only about two or three dollars and I find that Essence's eyebrow products are really quite impressive. So I'm um, going to test this out and see how I like it. Now onto the anti-haul. I am assuming that most of you here are familiar with Kimberly Clark and her famous anti-hauls. She used to do a lot of videos that were kind of anti-consumerist and a lot of anti-hauls. She really coined that term and created that, that series of videos. So I'm always inspired by that, especially at this time of year where we are like inundated and like constantly having like marketing shoved in our faces of look at this beautiful holiday set that you don't need, but you need. So um, I thought I will do this again. I did this last year. I will link Kimberly Clark's channel in the description. Uh, all credit goes to her. She is coined this term. This is totally her idea. And I just got so inspired by it that I did it last year and I decided I wanted to do it again this year. The first thing that I will not be buying are eyeshadow palettes. Now, um, I've recently realized that I just am not an eyeshadow palette person. I don't really reach for powder shadows. I love a good swipe on, blend out, go kind of thing where it's cream eyeshadow, stick eyeshadow. I just wanna apply it with my fingers and get out. So that's just a personal thing where like powder eyeshadow doesn't really apply to me. But even if it does apply to you, I find that these palettes are so good at getting us with this packaging and this marketing that you really have to sit down and break it down shade by shade. Which shade do I have? Which shade do I need? Which shade do I actually think I'll use? And most of the time, you don't end up using most of them. And with palettes like Huda Beauty's Mercury Retrograde eyeshadow palette coming out, really, really nice, gorgeous palettes, but I'm looking at them like, they look tempting to me, even though I don't wear powder eyeshadow and I know I don't wear powder eyeshadow. So when it comes to eyeshadow palettes this holiday season, I don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it. Continuing with the palette theme, I saw the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Face Palette in the color Ghost. Um, I have never really bought into the ambient lighting um, hype, I guess you could say. If you've used it, please comment below. Let me know how you feel about the ambient lighting because I find that either people love it or people hate it. I don't, I don't know. People say that they're very lightweight, they're very sheer. It's like, I don't, I don't think I need an $80 palette of blush and bronzer that I just, I just don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it. The shades are not meant for everyone. Like if you're a makeup artist and you need a million shades of bronzer for what, for different people that you're working on, that makes sense. But like when I'm tempted by it, I'm like, well, I'm never gonna use like two out of four shades. So why would I buy it, you know? Um, and I know the value in the packaging really sucks us in, especially me sometimes. So I'm guilty of that, but I don't need them and I'm not buying them. Another thing I am not buying this holiday season are these cute, little skincare sets. Now they get to me. I want to buy them. I have bought them in the past. And every time I've been dissatisfied, I've been annoyed, they've either broken me out or just realized like, why did I buy this? So one thing I'm gonna point out specifically is this Drunk Elephant Precious Cargo Kit. Love Drunk Elephant. I've tried quite a few of their products. I did buy their set a few years ago and it had the Lala Retro Moisturizer. Nah, it was cool, it was fine, it's not life-changing. I just don't think skincare sets are for me personally because I'm not a person that veers far from my basic skincare routine that I've had for years. Um, so as much as they suck me in with their packaging, I just don't need them and I'm not gonna buy them. So I'll be talking about lipsticks after this. So the 4A going from like Skincare to lipstick, I think in between is lip balm. <laughs> um, and I recently talked about the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got that in my most recent Sephora favorites kit that I did a video of and I'll link it right here if you haven't seen it. But I, I've since then included that in favorites videos. I've included it in lip edits. I have been loving the Laneige Sleeping Mask. And I saw that they came out with a Kiss Me Day and Night um, holiday set that's limited edition and it has a lip sleeping mask and a lip, what is it called? A lip glowy balm as well as a Kiss Me at Midnight set where they have a full size lip sleeping mask and two mini limited edition ones. So I'm really, really tempted to buy into this lip balm uh, craze. And there's also a Fresh Sugar Lip Legends gift set and it's $48 for, I believe, six mini sugar lip balms. <sighs> Lip balm is such a like utilitarian item. Like I have 
so many lip balms. I have so many lipsticks. I, have, I love lipsticks, I love lip balm. Even if I love that product and I finish it, I still don't need more of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just me trying to wake myself up from this consumerist, like, oh my God, it's in a cute set, I need it. But like, how many other lip balms do you have that are sitting there? Like, finish those, and once you finish every single lip balm, then maybe I'll let myself buy it, you know? So as much as I want it, I'm not going to buy it. The last thing I'm going to talk about, my favorite and my hardest thing to resist, lipsticks. I saw recently the Bite Beauty Creamy Color Four Piece Mini Amuse Bouche Supercharged Lipstick Set. That's a mouthful. Um, gorgeous colors. But like every year that Bite comes out with these sets, I do buy them and then I end up not wearing a lot of them. Like I end up not using half the set. And I just think it's such a waste, especially um, because I've talked about the Amuse Bouche lipsticks before and how the darker colors I feel like are too creamy to be um, easy to use in those shades. This one is supercharged in a way. So like this one is like even creamier. So they have that dark, dark color. Um, I don't remember what it's called. If I didn't like the Amuse Bouche lipsticks in their original form in super dark colors, then why would I like an extra creamy version of it in a dark color, you know? Um, so that's a set I'm trying to avoid. And then the Sephora Cream Lip Stain Collection, which looks really tempting. And I also did a video last year with that. Um, I just love doing those holiday set videos, but I just find that th there's two metal shades in there. I don't wear me metallic lipsticks. I just don't, that's just not how I wear lipstick. Um, and then the other three shades are shades that I already have. Um, there's a mauve, there's like a darker rosy mauve, there's a red and a berry. I mean, there are really a lot of shades that like you already have in your collection most likely. And then the last thing that really caught my eye was that Clinique Almost Lipstick Mini Duo because I was talking about the Tarte uh, Lip Quench in the color Berry about maybe this week or last week in my lip edit for November, which I will once again link up here. I felt like that Tarte Lip Quench was so similar to Clinique Black Honey that I was like, I need to go back to it, ah! But like, the last Black Honey I used, I gave that away, because I'd been using it for so long that I just got tired of it. Gave it to my mom, haven't used it since, it's been years, and suddenly I'm like, I want this Black Honey set. Well guess what, Nilu? The Lip Quench is almost the same color, you don't need it, and you're not gonna buy it. <laughs> so there we go, friends, that is my Ulta sale haul and Sephora VIB sale anti-haul. I'm gonna do my best to resist these products. Um, truly don't need any of this stuff. I think we all have, we, and I'm not speaking for anyone else, but just a general we, have more than enough makeup to last me probably a lifetime, personally. Um, so I'm gonna try to avoid these products and a la Kimberly Clark, not buy what I don't need. Um, again, I'll link her video below. She's freaking awesome, but she does um, anti-hauls, a lot of really interesting social topics. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one and I hope to see you in my next one. Have a great one, bye.